I'm pleased, honored, and also humbled uh, to receive this award. I mean, if I may, I of course would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, Professor Council Müller from Leibniz Computing Center in Garching for nominating me, and of course for the Praise Steering Committee for selecting me. But I would say this award does not only belong to me, it belongs to my whole team, and also belongs to my topic, which is uh, Earth observation. On the other hand, uh, I know that winning this award also has a responsibility. I'm delighted uh, to uh, act as kind of a disseminator who speaks for more women in HPC. I think uh, to having this uh, praise, uh, Lovelace, uh, other award is a very good uh, beginning. And I think as a next step, uh, maybe it's also a good idea to encourage more PI, even leading PI for the center of excellence, to have more female faces also in the uh, high level supporting team that can serve as kind of role model, which can encourage, I guess, young uh, female students also to enter the field. As I, um, I'm working in the field of uh, Earth observation, actually this means we are uh, uh, acquiring satellite data of the Earth and uh, then try to uh, develop algorithms uh, to turn this data to geo parameters. So I mean, we actually lead uh, uh, HPC in many sense. Um, we have uh, the typical uh, big data problem, we have petabytes of data, we need uh, support in the I.O. and the storage of the data. And then uh, in the second stage of data analytics, we are developing sophisticated methods in order to retrieve more precise information. And this also means we will need our code to be highly scalable to a scale of a city or even the whole world. And sometimes, uh, depending on the uh, applications, sometimes we need parameters to be retrieved, sometimes uh, we need uh, large areas uh, to be processed to get the semantics. Therefore, we also requiring hybrid systems which combine both uh, GPU, uh, CPU supercomputers and the GPU clusters. And last but not least, uh, we need uh, supporting from HPC in order to visualize our scientific results uh, in a way that is uh, accessible for the public. Um, this is not yet a standard service, I would say. But uh, we are in close, uh, close uh, discussion with, uh, for instance, the Leibniz Computing Center in Garching, Germany. So they are actually uh, very willing to more, uh, also make this possible. And of course, with the precondition is that uh, the data we used, we should also make it public that could be used for the whole community.